Ah, I'm kind of bored. I wonder if there's any new anime coming out. Something, something cool and fun. Ooh, nice, nice. Ooh, mm, pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Why? 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 <sighs> What is this shit? Anime needs to stop being fucking anime. I swear to fucking God. Now first off, don't get me wrong, alright? I love me some anime. I watch anime all the time. I have quite a long record of watching anime, you know? I've, I've watched anime for, I don't know, 10 to 12 years now? You know, I've, I have, I have, quite a connection. I've seen loads of anime. I'm not even gonna start tooting my own horn here. Even if, if, if you can even do that with anime. I'm a, fuck, I'm a fucking loser. Anyway, basically, I have watched a lot of anime, right? But, and it's a big but, just the other day or so, I, I went to see if there's some kind of, of any kind of new interesting anime coming out this season and I, I looked at the list as I'm sure you saw and I felt I felt sick to my fucking stomach like honestly like, yeah there were some one or two maybe three four decent shows that I might check out but honestly the rest of it complete and utter garbage like what is this why where do I begin? Where do I begin? Now, obviously, if you've been in the anime scene, you'd know, you know, that anime is full of tropes, cliches, memes, uh, whatever the fuck else, right? And these, and these tropes, I guess you could say, these tropes are so deeply buried in these shows, in anime itself, that the core of these shows ends up fucking them over. Anime to me was a way to tell stories that you couldn't in live action, that you couldn't anywhere else. Animation brings so many possibilities. Like, I love me some anime, as I said. I also love Western animated movies. I love, you know, anything to do with animation, mainly because it's a great way to tell story, any kind of story. But when you start making anime based off of how many tropes and cliches you can check off the box rather than actually looking at the, the writing, plot, characters, tones and themes, if you're not putting those things before all the anime cliches, something is terribly wrong. Animation can create all kinds of ridiculous, hilarious, complete bullshit and get away with it and create it and make it fun and entertaining and interesting and that's what it has over anything else and that's and that's why I, I got into anime I, I love seeing these interesting stories told stories of, of space pirates of fantasy worlds of, of deep and interesting characters and, and just 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 good storytelling right as an entertainment medium it has Loads. It has, it has so much storytelling potential, but it just wastes most of it on tropes and, and bullshit anime cliches. Years ago, there wasn't such a massive focus on high school students. Like, who the fuck cares about high school? No one wants to see literally every anime character be in high school. Why? Like, back in, back in the day, you had shows like... Like Cowboy Bebop, you had the, the classics, right? Like, I can think of five classics right now, off the top of my head. And these are like, the most popular stuff. And these shows are Cowboy Bebop, uh, Death Note, Code Geass, Steins Gate, and Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is still ongoing. These shows, these five shows that I can think of off the top of my head, are so popular that they are considered classics that that everyone knows of them now out of those five i would say maybe code Geass isn't as popular as the rest but 
it, to me, it's like a must-watch. To me, it's a classic because, well, I have more personal connection with that show. Yeah, there are uh, good shows like, like I don't know, like Bacano, uh, Land of the Lustrous, uh, Made in Abyss. You know, like you have a lot of these really good shows, but they don't they don't become classics. They they they're forgotten pretty much quite soon after almost immediately after they stop airing and people forget about them they just move on to the next stuff but going back to classics what do all those five shows have in common uh, Cowboy Bebop, Death Note, Code Geass, Steins Gate, Attack on Titan what do all those five have in common they have serious tones these days only the, most of the anime that comes out is is this kind of shit now, I don't even know what I'm pointing at because, you know, I have to actually edit something in there to... Anyway, anyway, moving on. Basically, this shit, right? Like, I can, I can take, like, literally, I can just open up any random anime. I can op open up any random episode of that anime. And what will I see? Most likely, I'm gonna see some kind of moe, cutesy, bright colors, kind... Uh, kind like this like this like how do I even explain this it's like there's no darker themes there are so many bright colors and happiness and kindness and moe and there's just not enough darker themes darker th tones darker characters characters being realistic and serious like you can have um, like you can have anime characters being serious right you can even have anime characters being funny in certain in certain situations, and then in other situations they can be serious. You can do that if you do it correctly, but a lot of the time, like if if the tone of the show, if if the art style, if the the colors, if everything's so bright and colorful, I even if the story is trying to be serious, I legit cannot take it seriously. A very good example recently that has uh, a show that's been coming out at the time of this video is that episode 14, I believe, is Tata no Yusha no Nariagari, or Rising of the Shield Hero, right? Now this anime, people like it, right? And and you know I've I've gone around, I've seen what people have to say about it, and I honestly I cannot agree. The only thing in that show is the only thing good in that show is in my opinion the main character the rest of the characters are garbage like why are you putting in so many lolly characters why why does this mount character have to turn into some kind of lolly angel like you don't need that character to turn into a lolly angel like you just don't there's no there's no storytelling purpose. There's no purpose to it in terms of the story. Why did this 11 year old, 10, 11 year old raccoon girl turn into 20 year old looking raccoon girl in like three days? I'm pretty sure they said something about, oh, you know, her race ages really fast or something. Yeah, but by the time episode 14 now came out, she should already be a fucking granny. Instead of good writing, they opted for fan service. It's all just fan service. My point is that anime, instead of just telling a story and using the animation as as the medium for it, they end up starting to they end up putting these anime tropes into these stories. Even though they don't need to. Even though these stories could could be really good if they could just take it seriously. Like, I'm sure there's hundreds, thousands of, tens of thousands of stories submitted to be hopefully made into anime that are, like, serious stories with good, realistic characters and telling, like, a, like a great fantasy, like, supernatural story. And these things just never get made because animation studios, as far as I know, prefer making these safe anime. Many, many a time have I asked the question, why? Why do animation studios make these etchy harem shows, these, these 
cutesy, cute girls doing cute things. Like, why do they make these shows? And because oftentimes they suck. They have no story. The characters are completely cookie cutter, like copy paste characters that have no like uniqueness to them. You know, like they don't, they don't have anything interesting to say. They don't like just completely pointless. And I've asked the question, why are why are these anime being made? In droves. If you've been in the anime scene for more than two minutes, you've probably heard people say Diamond in the Rough or uh, what else like, oh my god, it's a diamond in this mountain of trash. You've probably heard sayings like that, right? That's because most of the anime that come out seasonally like there's there's maybe one to four uh, actually like decent anime decent anime that have a decent story and characters and try to tell a story and then there's pretty much everything else which is just bright colors moe fan service crap trash burn it in a fire you know considering it's fan service it's definitely not servicing much I'm a fan. I don't want the service. Fuck off. Now, ultimately, I don't know if my my preferences, my personal preferences, have changed over the years. You know, I I don't think they have. I think that anime, just in general, has has changed. Like there are still anime that I like. You know, if if um, if a good show comes out, like I don't know, like One Punch Man or Attack on Titan, like I showed, or whatever the fuck else. You know, if if there's if there's a good show that comes out, yeah, I'll watch it. But honestly, otherwise, I'm kind of tired of anime. There's just barely any good shows coming out. It's 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 sad, honestly. I I I would really like to watch more anime. Like this is a complete waste of resources. I've always thought so. And and I guess what I'm trying to say is that anime needs to stop being so anime. If that makes sense, even though it probably doesn't. Um, if you've actually gotten this far through my stupid ranting, congratulations and thank you for watching. What I wanted to say was what I ranted about was I just want more serious anime and better writing rather than what we're getting now. So that's about it. Um, don't know why it took me like 12 minutes, but yeah, this was just a. Uh, kind of off the cuff, you know, no script, no nothing. I just wanted to get this rant off my chest. I'm aware I probably repeated a bunch of stuff, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, thanks for watching.